భారత్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ఆఫ్ ఐయర్ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ అండ్ రీసెర్చ్ చెన్నై అడ్మిషన్ ఓపెన్ ఫార్ బీటెక్ బీసీ అగ్రి బీఫార్మ్ నర్సింగ్ పారామెడికల్ అండ్ ఆర్ట్స్ అండ్ సైన్స్ కోర్సెస్ హలో అండ్ వెల్కమ్ టు కలాటా ప్లస్ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో రివ్యూ ఎపిసోడ్ వీ గోన్ బి టాకింగ్ అబౌట్ మిథిలన్ సామినాథన్ మచ్ అవైటెడ్ సెకండ్ ఫిల్మ్ మహారాజా విచ్ ఇస్ ఆల్సో విజయ్ సేతుపతి ఫిఫ్త్ ఫిల్మ్ the film has many wow moments but it doesn't result in an organic cohesive emotional narrative after kuranga bomai and now maharaja i think we can say that nithilan samanathan is a plot based filmmaker as opposed to a character based filmmaker this is not to say that a film that depends on plot cannot have solid character arcs or that a character based drama does not need a plot but nithilan's films are so intricately constructed that surprise is everything to him and this big reveal is attained by construction and by contrivance meant to shock the audience in kuranga bommai this technique of hiding information and slowly revealing just what needs to be revealed that worked relatively well and strangely for the plot based movie it was the relationship between the characters played by bharati raja and pl tenappan that gave the film its soul that big monologue by the bharati raja character that was everything it established a friendship that defined the whole movie from the breakup of an alliance at the beginning to the villain's plight at the end there is no such through line in maharaja the story is generic and so are the events and the characters and their motivations things happen with such mechanical precision that the emotional impact is muted take the scene where a bunch of students are taken for a sports camp by their teacher played by mamta mohandas after the trip when the bus drops each child off the teacher does not check to see if a parent or guardian is there to receive the child and take them home safely the child is dropped off the teacher says bye and the bus takes off click 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 because if this construction did not happen then the story would not be set in motion take another scene towards the end where a cop played by nati subramanian gives us a shock as a singular moment it is a super effective moment but how much better it would have been had we seen some of the scops work in arriving at that conclusion at several points it appears that the connective tissue moments or connective tissue scenes have been cut off vijay sethupati in his 50th film as i said plays a barber named maharaja the sense of wealth is there in other names too selvam tangam dana and especially lakshmi now who is lakshmi the trailer kept us guessing but the film gives away this plot point fairly early on we know that maharaja has a deeper motive than what he lets on and these bursts of surprises are what keep us invested in the movie there are many stunning plot points like the bit about the reenactment of a crime like the reveal about a young girl the like the scene where maharaja sets out to do something good but his intent is foiled by cops like the big reveal behind the story maharaja narrates to the cop like the shock that we are being manipulated by a different timeline this is certainly a film that has been thought through thoroughly but these individual wow moments do not come together organically cohesively they exist as individual wow moments perhaps nithilan's films may work better with smaller and tighter running times koronga bommai was barely an hour and 45 minutes and yet barring the love angle everything just everything clicked maharaja is almost 30 minutes longer and the padding shows the bharati raja scenes are redundant the police station scenes with kalki raja as a comic criminal are redundant the surreal scenes with the snake are redundant and anyway this kind of narrative is too mechanical for surreal asides two scenes where maharaja shows a superhuman strength at a school and at a police station they are redundant he is a typical traditional hero in this typical traditional revenge story and this touch adds nothing to the character the endless slaps maharaja receives again redundant or let me rephrase that had this been a more emotional narrative maharaja's series of humiliations would be a way to tell us what he is willing to bear in order to get what he wants but since he has already been established as superhuman this attempt to reduce him to a common man it doesn't work vijay sethupati however works there is an early scene where he is stunned by a tragedy it is such a bizarre and random event that he stands frozen in shock much like us and a second later a single tear rolls down his cheek it is a cold character in a cold movie and we get an appropriately cold performance but anurag kashyap as the villain does not work the character is introduced way too late and the scenes with his wife played by abhirami do not define the man in any way it is too early to say this but character writing may not be nithilan's strong point when a rape survivor says that she will stay strong it sounds more like a message to the audience than something that comes through the character's journey after the trauma maharaja certainly watchable even if the first half tests your patience the second half especially after that timeline shocker 
has its rewards. But I felt the same about this movie as I did after watching Garudan. It's a great story, but the screenplay needed to have supported it in a much better way. That's it about Maharaja. If you like this video review, do subscribe to Galata Plus and see you soon at the movies. Bharat Institute of Higher Education and Research Chennai. Admissions open for B.Tech, B.C. Agree, B.Form, Nursing, Paramedical and Arts and Science courses.